it's because of control. And out of those uh, eight valve guides, I only managed to hit my hand, let your money bring you happiness. Giving second life to the K24A. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's more like an update on the build. Uh, today's episode, I'm gonna talk about what are the plans on this motor. So far, I have encountered lots of things found some broken parts that need to be replaced in order to get this thing to be back to life. I thought about, uh, it's like giving up, but uh, I chose to uh, press on forward. Since I am new to this platform, might as well get familiar with this motor learn as much as I can, uh, do what I can do, just to get it back in service. Uh, like this block here, for example, have found out that the rust ate up the sleeve, and the only way to fix this is to get it oversized, which is, I have the piston showed up, it's right here, so this is uh, 0.5 over, uh, pardon my uh, speech, I ran into some uh, little accident, <laughs> uh, my front tooth broke, so I'm going to try, I know I mumble a lot, but uh, just uh, I apologize if you cannot <laughs> understand what I'm talking about, okay, I'm trying my best here, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I chose to uh, use this piston. This is made by uh, Nippon Racing. I thought about using the uh, K20 Turbo Piston and I learned to find out on their description that this is the same material and the way they cast this thing, uh, centrifugal, uh, let me see, uh, if I can remember, something centrifugal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I'm not going to get into those uh, technical details. Uh, yeah, uh, these are the same material from what the uh, K20 Turbo Piston is made of. I also learned that the only difference between the two, since normally the K20 Piston, it has a dome, right? Uh, high compression uh, piston. So they made a K20 piston, which is for turbo application. So it came out with a flat top. So the name got stuck on it. So this one's got left out. <laughs> yeah, that is from my understanding. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I have decided uh, to use this instead of the uh, K20 uh, turbo piston. Plus, I'm not going on a power-hungry mode. Like I said, I want to keep this below the radar if I can, especially now that once this thing is bored out, now the sleeve is a little bit thinner than usual. And I'm going to couple this with this. I'm not uh, sponsored by this company. used this in the past and I have been very successful 
uh, when one of my motor is on Miley. The cylinder head, right after I have learned that all the exhaust valves are all bent, the valve guides, I have removed that myself. Uh, it turned out to be uh, relatively uh, not that hard. It's not really that easy either. Could have used a bigger hammer, but uh, I just kind of like uh, that hammer that I was using. It's because of control. And out of those uh, eight valve guides, I only managed to hit my hand one time. And hammer away. Ooh. Good thing that it's not a dead blow, man. Otherwise, my hand will, would have been messed up. But here is the uh, the valve guides that I have removed. Yeah. Yeah, when the valves got bent, it also damaged the tip. Also, I got the replacement. This is the valve guides that I chose. For the uh, intake, I'm gonna leave that alone. There's really nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to replace the seal because I ordered the uh, a combo, the intake and exhaust valve seal. So might as well uh, have no use for it, you know? So anyway, uh, what the plans on this one, I thought about installing this myself. But as I progress doing the research and watching a lot of uh, videos, I ran into one YouTubers and uh, he explained uh, I mean, this is what he does for a living and he also get a lot of uh, cylinder head that are gone bad which is uh, some DIYers that have brought it to him. He showed some uh, good point for me to think about that uh, from where it uh, sticks out, yeah, you could easily damage those if you're not, if you don't know what you're doing. I thought about heating this up and uh, put this in the freezer to make it easier. Imagine uh, some of the knowledge that I could uh, pick up doing this, but uh, I decided that uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, see if they will or willing to pick up on what I left off on this one. Now for the whole shebang on this uh, Bring to Life episode. My plan is to uh, go ahead and learn whatever I could learn from building this motor, which is so far it's been interesting to me. And uh, rebuild this motor, put it back in service, and we'll start from there. I actually did uh, three trips at the junkyard so far. On the second trip, I almost got myself a, a transmission, but somehow someone beat me to it. I'm gonna show a clip of it, you will see it. <laughs> Someone beat me to it. Oh well. That sucks, man. Hmm. There's the flywheel. Oh well, I'll try again next time. Jeez, I knew it. I knew it would be gone. Hi. Yeah, I just saw this one uh, yesterday. So I thought, uh, man, I'll stop by and uh, check it out. I figured uh, it'd still be here, but uh, Oh damn. All right, well, it's time to go home.
I'll get it next time.